Hello everybody, my name is Max. This is Entrepreneur, as you can see from the big logo and the thing on my shirt. Yay. Today we're going to be building an online course. I have actually not filmed the course yet, but we're going to be teaching in this online course. It's going to be about an hour, 45 minute long course. Um, we're going to be teaching how to get university speaking gigs. And I have done 30 to 40 in the past like three to four months uh, through a series of automations and a series of like like calculated little bits of outreach. And it's worked incredibly well. I may actually be able to make entrepreneur full time using a kind of like uh, advancement of this same strategy, but it's free to get started. The tools are free to get started. It's incredibly like accessible for everybody. Um, and if you know something that is like moderately valuable or you feel you could teach in a university setting, or you just want to get experience teaching to students, or the most valuable thing is you want to get these speaking gigs under your belt so that when things open up again, you have a, like a solid base of experience that you can go and start charging for speaking gigs, right? If you want to do speaking full time or speaking part time and get paid for it, this is a great way to build up that resume, right? This is the best thing that I've seen. This is why I'm doing it. I've been doing it to build up my speaker resume so I can eventually get paid. And I've already started to get paid for some of these gigs. Um, that's awesome. I'm going to be teaching that soon. I'm going to be filming that course soon. We are not there yet. I'm probably going to film it later this week. But for the rest of everything else, the, the marketing strategy, the everything else, and then the landing page mostly, um, the sales page for this actual course, we're going to set up today. And I'm going to go over that entire process of how I'm doing that, right? right and when we did the Ahrefs stuff, like I told you like, hey, this is worth like $500 of your, <laughs> this is apparently worth $500 because he charged like $500 for that little course, which is like, like, fuck me. Like awesome. Whatever, whatever works for you. But that's crazy, right? That's, it's wild how it, online course selling and info products are exclusively what you kind of define. You can sell them for whatever price you, you personally define. He decided to sell it for 500 because it did, to the people that he was selling it to, it was worth $500, right? Fuck it. Right. So for the people that I'm selling to, um, I'm going to film like an hour long course. I'm going to charge 50 bucks for it. I'm going to make it relatively unprofessional, but it is going to have all the valuable information that, and all the tools and all the tool sets and everything that I use to get the past like 30, 40 speaking gigs at different universities. So I'm going to teach you valuable stuff. It's going to work. It's not going to be overly, overly highly produced. It doesn't need to be. And I'm going to price it relatively high because it is very valuable information in my honest opinion. We're going to add a little bit of description. So what are we doing here? Um, uh, one of the best ways, the best and easiest ways to, um, build up a speaker resume is by doing, um, is by speaking at, uh, universities. Let's go to save changes. Let's go to checkout, add a discount code. We're adding the discount code. Um, nerd boy. Can I not all caps it? I guess there's no all caps. Um, nerd boy. Now let's come up with something more professional. Uni speaker. Let's do that. Um, for real products, I use random generated code to make it hard to use. That's a good point. I like that. That, that makes sense. Um, there's. It's very likely. It's very unlikely that somebody's going to guess your 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 discount code. And if they do, like they like if they found your discount code, they found it through somebody else fine right like it doesn't really matter and also like there's only a limited quantity of like 15 so i'm not worried about if 15 people use it fine and then it's, it's done from there right but hey um a discount code to purchase form a discount code to purchase to purchase form okay uh yes discount code optional perfect yes so now we have a discount code perfect add field to all of your products no uh, full name will be shown. Field will be shown when it increases conversion. Uh, not should no required shipping information. Additional fields. Uh, I need their email. <laughs> they need the discount code. You'll be charged fifty dollars. Let's give this a heckin' shot. So what else do we need? Receipt. Thanks for your support. Um, let's see. Thank, thank you so much for. Uh, purchasing. Um, I hope you like the product. I hope you like the product. Um, I hope you like the course. I hope you like the course. I love it. Uh, the receipt looks decent. Everything looks fine there. Discount code. Save changes. Um, let's publish this sucker. Is it published? Oh, it probably must have at least one file. Yes. So we need to actually add the file. So we could add a little video preview here, which is good to know. That's awesome. Um, so I can click for preview. Perfect. 
I might do that. That might increase conversions. That's probably a good idea. So I'll add that later. Um, always read the docs, lol, even no code tools. Yeah, I know, exactly. I always read, I always read everything that's, that's going on. So I'll, I'll make a video. I'll, I'll cut down a little video and I'll make it a little bit more like, oh, hey, check it out, right? I, I don't want to do anything overcomplicated. I'm just going to have them download the video. No YouTube, no nothing. I'm going to give them the video. They're going to have it. They are down, going to download it. It is going to be theirs on their computer. It might be difficult for them. They can still share it, right? But it's not just sharing a link, right? And it doesn't look as unprofessional as it does on YouTube. I want this to look professional. I could do it on Vimeo, but let's keep it to a file. And if we can't use it, then I'll embed it on a Notion board and just give them a link to a Notion board, right? Because the Notion board at least doesn't look like YouTube, even though it is... It shows that it's YouTube. I don't know. I don't know. Also, let me upload a little download link just so it functions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so we can actually publish it. So let's upload my file from computer. Let's make a little video. We'll keep it like this for now. This is just, we're just downloading this little image. Um, save changes. Publish. It's published. Cool. Shown in your career profile. Great. Uh, course. Uh, speaking, uh, speaking, um, and then university, university, I don't know, whatever, uh, display your products, 1.5 star rate, prospect cost rate, yes, only meant for adults, no, um, auto trigger the payment form, allow single product purchases only, yes, um, auto trigger, the payment form? What does that mean? Inline purchases without leaving your site? Yes, this is what I want. So I need to copy this. I'm going to go to here. I'm going to add a button or I'm going to add a uh, embed. I'm going to paste this code into here and that should work fine. Now we have a button selling our thing. Awesome. Stop reusing Roboto and spice things up. Ooh, uh, fucking I like that. I'm sold. Ooh, good try to verse combinations. <gasps> Oh, let's do this. I'm immediately sold. I love this. That's a great idea. This is a great idea. It's like, it's like coolers, right? It's like coolers, but for fonts. This is great. Oh God. Awesome. Um, very cool. Our product is actually really, really cool. I kind of like this. Yeah. I kind of like this a lot. Landing, 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 landing. Um, sip the sippy cup. What's up, Paul? I gotta make that more expensive. Um, embiggen. <laughs> um, buttons. Landing. Um, sign up. Very cool. Text. This is awesome. Okay, super, super cool. So how do I copy this? I guess I just click the, no, no, no something different. Um, primary font. Secondary font, tertiary font. Ugh, um, I'm sitting at 11k. God damn, you're gonna destroy me. Um, what is that fancy little thing? You have a fancy little thing. What is that? You have one month subscription and a cheer 100. Hey, very cool. You're at 16 port. Jeez, yeah. Toast doesn't really use his thing, so I, it makes sense that he's he's loaded. I would imagine Jackhammer is absolutely like just packed with with evil. Um, Yeah, twenty almost twenty four thousand. Yeah, that makes sense. So, ay yeah yeah, you're all gonna destroy me. I need to make sure you don't like just make, force me to consume all of my water in the beginning, um, because I don't know how to use my points. If I knew, I, I gotcha. I got. What if I knew how? I'll I'll make that more accessible a little bit later. I can fuss with some stuff on Twitch to make it obvious. But um, yeah, that's funny. That's super funny. So how do I copy this font then? Oh, I just go here. Interesting. Um, okay. I wonder. So let's just copy this. Paliquin. See if I can find that under card. They're all Google fonts. So most places have a built-in switcher. You can download from Google. Yeah, I figured. Okay, cool. Awesome. And let's just make a little Google sheet that compiles all of the people that have bought. Um, they better give me the emails. Yeah, exactly. So... Where is my Zapier dashboard? Do I have anything that I'm building here? No. Or right, maybe my zaps have something. Yes, there is a zap that, that does some stuff. So I'm going to turn that off. Um, 
I'm going to, yeah, filter. So I'm gonna, I delete. Yes, trash. Really move to trash. Boom, doom, doom, boom, doom, doom, boom, doom, doom, boom, doom, doom. I don't have anything that I actually want. Let's make a new zap instead. Make a new zap. I'm gonna connect it to Gumroad in a simple Google Sheet. Let's go to Gum Road, trigger event, sale. Boom. Sign into Gumroad. Authorize. Continue. <coughs> Customize sale. How to get speaking gigs at universities. Continue. Find data, test trigger. Couldn't find a sale because there's no, but there hasn't been the skip test. Skip test. Um, does it give me their purchaser ID? It does give me their email. Awesome. So perfect. I just want to continue and compile that all into a nice little Google Sheets. Action event. Create spreadsheet row. Boom. Um, boom. Yes. Continue. I'm already logged in there. Let's choose um, my Google Drive. Let's go make a little Google Sheets. Nerd. Stream. Sheet. Come on. Sheet. <laughs> uh, and this will be. Come on. You can do a Google Sheets. Uh, university online course email list. Perfect. And so to just create there. Perfect. Beautiful. Love it. Let's go back to here. Let's, can I refresh this or something? Drive, my Google Drive, perfect. Spreadsheet, one that I just created, hopefully will pop up, boom. Um, worksheet, sheet zero. Perfect, didn't see any headers in the spreadsheet. And headers, so just to refresh the page, pull in new data. Um, oh, okay, cool, uh, let's do that. So let me go back to what I just deleted, history, university online course, beautiful. Let's add a header. Uh, fuck. Cool. <laughs> Refresh fields. Fuck. Uh, email, and then name. Actually, no. Let's let's delete. Not the name. So let's not use this. That. So we just want the email, um, and then let's also, fuck name. Um, refresh fields. Interesting. So it's only grabbing fuck right now. Is it not loaded? Oh, it's not loaded because I didn't click out of it. Refresh fields. Come on. There we go. Fuck name. And then they're going to put their, no, not their email, their name. Boom. Okay, cool. So now with the email and their name. Awesome. Continue. Done. Test and continue. Turn on zap. Awesome.